Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating challenge that many developers encounter when working with Virtus models in Ruby. Our viewer asks, how can we dynamically extend Virtus instance attributes without losing existing data? Let's break it down. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. Let's start by understanding the issue with dynamically extending Virtus instance attributes. We have a user model that includes Virtus and defines a name attribute. After creating an instance of the user model, we extend it to add a new attribute called active. This is done using the extend method from Virtus. When we check the attributes of the user instance, we see that the active attribute is present, but the original name attribute is missing when we convert the object to a hash or JSON. The problem arises because extending the instance with Virtus.model creates a new context that does not include the original attributes. To retain all attributes, we need to merge the original attributes with the new ones. To implement this, you can manually combine the attributes before converting to a hash or JSON. This way, you won't lose any data. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Here's a method to dynamically extend Virtus instance attributes. By modifying Virtus, we can allow instances to have their own attributes, not just classes. Virtus already has a parent attribute set concept but we can enhance it to work with instances. This allows for more flexibility in defining attributes. Here's a code example. We create a user class with a name attribute, then dynamically add an active attribute. This shows how easy it is to extend. After adding attributes, we can see the results in a hash format. This demonstrates the successful extension of the Virtus model. This approach could be a valuable contribution to the Virtus project. What do you think about making a pull request? Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When you extend Virtus.model in your user class, it creates a new attribute set each time. This means that the attributes you can access are only those defined after the last extension. Before and after extending, the object ID of the attribute set changes, indicating they are different objects. This affects how you access attributes. A workaround to access all attributes is to filter out the attribute set from instance variables and create a hash of the remaining attributes.
And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.